Welcome to the low mid budget watch report. And today I'm going to unbox a work watch from Gul Watches. And I had a, a minor problem ordering this watch because uh, at first the watch didn't arrive at the right time so I wrote to Google watches my watch hasn't arrived and then they say oh something must be wrong because it should have arrived long time ago so uh, we will check this uh, and send you another watch and, um, and then I got one watch in my letter throwing and that watch came without the Gul box so I went to the post office where my other watch had arrived because now there were two watches and I had to take that one too because that was the only watch in a box and this is an unboxing channel so I had to have the box always problem with the, the boxes on these low price uh, watches I think the seller just because you buy a cheap watch they think you don't uh, care about the box I don't know what, what's the problem but the box arrived and it looks like this it's a um, very special type of box in metal and it uh, looks nice if you hold it like this and it looks like uh, sh sh when you hold it like this i don't know it looks like you know something you put your uh, fork in when you uh, done the dishes but well let's take a look what's inside the box it also came with this uh, gul uh, car key holder or gul logo well this is how the watch is packed and this is how it looks it's the gul work watch it's for the blue color hard-working uh, man and woman out there there's no warranty card or anything but uh, I think there's a two-year warranty or something like that I think good watches is a pretty small company but they feels kind of trustworthy and this is how the watch looks like it's the longest strap i ever seen on a watch i could put it like this yes well let's try it on man oh man this is how it looks on the wrist size is pretty good and uh, the watch feels kind of heavy it's a very thick watch it looks very nice uh, it's kind of annoying this velcro band because it's uh, it takes time to put it on you have to push your arm on the leg or on the table to wrap this on but once you get it uh, on your wrist it's it's fine it's a bit annoying maybe it's because i'm not used to this type of band well let's take a look at the watch you can rotate the bezel in one direction like this i actually thought it was a solid uh, case but uh, you can actually rotate this bezel and the watch uh, you can swim with the watch it's uh, 10 atm and um, it's a working watch so we'll have to tolerate some water on it it's very sick i don't know very sick <laughs> it's very thick i don't know what type of metal this is but uh, but the back is stainless steel the case is actually aluminium and uh, it's only the back that is stainless steel I, I think the glass is uh, hardened mineral crystal it is hardened mineral crystal glass and you have a little date window three o'clock let's look at the measurements let's take a look at 
the measurements. The bezel is actually 36.6 millimeters and from log end to log end it is 42.6 millimeters and from the bottom to the top of the crown it is 40.6 millimeters 40 point yes 40.6 millimeters and between the logs or through the logs as this watch doesn't have any springs uh, it is 20 millimeters so you can put a 20 millimeter nato to this watch and um, you probably should do that if you are not getting used to this uh, velcro band i find this velcro band pretty annoying even though when it's on it looks great so i already took the other watch and put a nato band on it 20 millimeter nato band well let's take a closer look at the gul work watch the gul blue color watch well this is how the watch looks up close as you can see the aluminium looks kind of plastic but it feels very nice and this is the annoying velcro strap velcro band and it has the good logo the good logo looks nice um, this is how the watch looks in the dark pretty good actually i think it looks nice you can see the pointers clearly the hands clearly what more is there to say about this uh, gul work watch uh, it looks pretty good i forgot to check how thick it was it is 12 millimeter thick but as you see the lug bends downward so if you measure the lugs with the thickness it is almost uh, 13 and a half millimeters thick well gul is a swedish brand it has a japanese quartz movement i think it's uh, a miyota or i'm pretty sure it is a miyota and uh, the watch is made somewhere else but uh, I think you can go to the Gul website and see exactly where the watch is made and they even have uh, pictures of people making the watch. So they are pretty open with the making of the Gul watches. But it's a Swedish brand and it is a Swedish design and uh, the design is very nice. Not particularly on this watch. I don't think the this is the best gul watch i've seen uh, the gul uh, uh, divers and they look pretty awesome but this watch is a work watch it is supposed to be ugly you know this is a blue color watch and it is supposed to be on a construction site or something else blue colorish workish kind of work yeah it's a nice watch. Uh, I think the dial is great and the uh, pointers and the second hand, the hands are look very cool. It, it is totally worth the price around uh, $40. It was a sale but uh, I think it's not much more expensive when it's not on sale. So I would definitely this is definitely a good buy for $40. It's quality. It, it's a quality watch. But it looks like it is. It's a work watch. And it looks like a work watch. It's a construction site type of watch. 
more can I say? I don't have anything to complain about this watch except the Velcro strap is kind of annoying at the beginning. Maybe in some time you'll get used to it or you'll change to a NATO strap. But uh, in the beginning the Velcro band is very annoying. I'll give this watch a 7 out of 10 if using it using using it as a just a watch but uh, for a work working watch i give this a 10 out of 10 you're supposed to go to work with this watch hell i'm even going to work with this watch i'm going to work i can't wear the watch on my work but i'll drive to work with this watch yes i might buy another ghoul watch in the future but uh, not this particular model okay folks that's all Peace.